Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create talking avatars like this using Multitalk. Multitalk supports up to two people talking but in this video we will be focusing on only one person. For using Multitalk first we need to download and set up a tool called WANGP which is a tool for using a lot of video generation models. So let's see how we can set up WANGP. Before we begin, make sure you have Miniconda and get installed on your system. If you don't have them, the download links are in the description. So let's get started. First, let's open an Anaconda prompt. Once that's open, we'll download the files of WANGP. Now let's switch over to Notepad. Guys, in the Anaconda prompt, you'll need to run this command to download WANGP, git clone githubcom slash deepbeatmeep slash wan2gp git. Just copy and paste this command into the Anaconda prompt, then press enter. Wait until the download finishes. Here we go. A new directory named wan2gp has been created in the current working directory. Now, let's use the wan2gp directory as our working directory by typing cd wan2gp and pressing the enter key on the keyboard. Next, let's clear the window by typing CLS and pressing Enter. Next, we need to create a Conda virtual environment for WANGP. For that, run this command, conda create hyphen and WAN2GP Python equals 3.10.9 hyphen Y. Let's copy and paste it inside the Anaconda prompt and press Enter. It's finished, let's clear the window. Now let's activate the new virtual environment by typing conda activate wan2gp and then pressing enter. With the virtual environment now active, let's clear the window once more. Next, we need to install PyTorch with CUDA support. For that, run this command. Let's copy and paste it inside the Anaconda prompt and run it. Please be patient, it will take a few minutes. Here we go again, let's clear the window. Now we need to install other requirements for wan2gp. To install these requirements, run this command, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. Let's copy and run it in the Anaconda prompt, press enter. It's done, let's clear the window. Now we can launch WANGP by running this command, python wgp.py hyphen hyphen i2v. Before we do that, here are some extra tips for you all. First, we can use Fusion X LoRa for increasing video generation speed. Let's see where we can download it and where it should be placed within WANGP to use this LoRa. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we go, open the Fusion X LoRa folder. Inside, we'll find three LoRa's. The specific LoRa we need is the one made for image-to-video models, so. The model we are going to download is WAN 2.1 i2v14b Fusion X LoRa dot Safatensors. Use the download button to get the LoRa. After the download finishes, let's see where we should put the Fusion X LoRa inside WAN GP. Open the Downloads folder select and cut the Fusion X LoRa file. Next, open the WAN GP folder. Mine is located in the Home folder, so let's navigate there. In the address bar, simply type percent homepath percent and press enter to access the home folder. Here, find the WAN GP folder, which is named WAN 2 GP. Let's open that inside. Find the folder called LoRa's i2v. Open that folder and paste the Fusion X LoRa there. Also, guys, another thing you should know is that when you start using the WAN GP tool for the first time, it will automatically download the necessary models. In my case, I've made a backup of the models, so I'm going to move that backup into the WAN GP folder. Therefore, I'll cut the backup folder and paste it inside the WAN GP folder, however. You don't need to worry about this step. Moving on, we can install Sage Attention 1 or 2 for increasing video generation speed. Do note that the quality might not be as good. We can also install Flash Attention, but its speed will be slower than Sage Attention. Later in this video, I will show you how to install Flash Attention. For now, let's focus on Sage Attention 1 or 2. To install Sage Attention, first, we need to install a package called Triton Windows. To install Triton Windows, run this command in the Anaconda prompt, pip install Triton hyphen Windows. Let's copy and run it inside the Anaconda prompt, then press enter. It's finished. Now let's see how we can install Sage Attention. To install Sage Attention 1, use this command. To install Sage Attention 2, use this command. I will be using Sage Attention 2, so let's run its command in the Anaconda prompt and press enter. It's done. Let's clear the window. Now let's run WANGP. So type python wgp.py hyphen hyphen i2v then press enter. Please be patient, a link will appear in the prompt. Here we go, let's copy and open the link in the browser. If you followed my instructions correctly, you will now see the WAN GP interface. Here's a drop down menu for selecting different video generation models. Click on it to see the other models. If we scroll up, we can see the 480p and 720p versions of Multitalk. We also have another vase version of Multitalk. For now, let's focus on the 480p version. Click on it. Now scroll down, make sure use only a start image is selected. Then under the heading images as starting points for new videos, click on click to upload. A file browser will appear. Select the image you want to animate. I'm going to select this lady's photo. Click open. 
Now scroll down. Under Voices, we have the option to animate two persons. As I said before, we will focus on only one person. Let's choose one person speaking only. Then under Voice to Follow, click on Click to Upload. A file browser will appear. Select the audio you want to use. I will choose this audio. Click Open. We also have a mic button for recording voices, so if you prefer, you can record your own voice and use it for video generation. We also have a trim option for trimming audio. Moving on under the prompt section, type a simple prompt like a woman talking about something important. If it's a man, then type a man instead of a woman. Next, we can set the resolution of the output video in max resolution. Right now it's 480p. We can change it to a vertical resolution if we want a vertical video. For now, let's use the horizontal resolution. Then we can set the length of our output video under number of frames. The default is 81, which generates a three second video. The WAN GP tool supports creating longer videos. To ensure the correct frame count that matches the audio length we provided to WAN GP, we need to calculate the frame count from the audio length. Here's how 25 frames equals one second. The length of the audio I provided is eight seconds, so I'm going to add an extra one second to make sure there isn't any abrupt cutting at the end of the output video. This means eight seconds becomes nine seconds. Then multiply nine by 25, which gives us 225. So the frames we need for our output video are 225. Let's input that value into number of frames. Next for number of inference steps. Since we're using Fusion X LoRa, we only need eight steps. So let's set it to eight. If you want more quality, you can use nine or 10 steps. Then click on advanced mode, scroll down. Here you'll find many options. The seed value is minus one, which means a random seed value will be used for every generation. Let's keep it as is. Then set the guidance value to one, audio guidance to four and shift value to two. For the sampler, I'll be using UniPC. Now let's move to the LoRa's tab. Under activated LoRa's, we can select our Fusion X LoRa, that's it. Now guys, we can increase video generation speed even further using TCache and MagCache. For now, I'll be skipping those steps. After setting all the right options, we can start generating the video. So scroll up and click Generate. Please be patient and wait until the video generation finishes. Here we go guys, the generation has finished. Let's play the video to see the result. They were admirable things for the observer. Excellent for drawing the veil from men's motives and actions. As you can see, Multitalk did a really good job here. For even higher quality, I suggest using the 720p version of Multitalk. So how much time did it take me to generate this video? The generation time is shown here, but it's in seconds. To convert that to minutes, let's use the calculator. Type 1243, then divide it by 60. As we can see, it took me around 21 minutes. And Multitalk also supports animal speaking, so let's try that. First, let's remove the photo we currently have loaded. Then let's click on Click to Upload. A file browser will appear. Let's choose this portrait of a cat. Let's click Open. Before we start generating, we can download the currently generated video by clicking this Download button. Even if we forget, don't worry, the generated videos are always saved to the Outputs folder, which is located inside WAN GP. Next, we need to add some adjustments to the prompt. Let's change woman to cat. Then under max resolution, let's choose vertical 480p resolution. Then we will change the number of frames to 81 because guys, I just wanna show a quick demo of the animal talking feature, okay? This will speed up video generation and will save me some time. After that, scroll up. Let's click the generate button and wait until it finishes. Here we go, guys. The generation has finished. Let's play the video. They were admirable things for the observer. Well, that's a really great result. That's it guys, moving on, here are some extra tips. If your computer can't create longer videos and you're getting out of memory issues, but it can manage smaller frame videos, I suggest using that manageable frame count inside the sliding window option. To change the sliding window option, scroll down and go to advanced mode. Click on the small three dots there, then click on sliding window. The default sliding window size is 129. Change this value to the frame count your computer can manage. For example, if your computer can create 81 frame videos, then type 81 here. I hope this helps you. Moving on guys, let's see how we can install Flash Attention and make WAN GP use it. First, let's close the browser and close the WAN GP tool by pressing Ctrl plus C on the keyboard. Here we go, let's clear the window. Now to install Flash Attention, we first need to find out our Python version, the PyTorch version, and the CUDA version that comes with PyTorch. To learn about your Python version, type Python hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. As you can see here, the Python version is Python 3.10.9. Now let's see what the PyTorch version is. 
Well, we already know it, but let's reconfirm. So type pip show torch and then press enter. Here we go. The Pi Torch version we're using is 2.6.0 and the CUDA version is 12.4. Now with that information, let's switch to Notepad. We'll use this link to download Flash Attention for Windows. Let's open this link in the browser. Oops, guys, for some reason my internet died, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, I fixed it. Let's try opening the link again. Here we go. Now scroll down and look for the appropriate Flash Attention file for our Python and Pi Torch versions. Just move the cursor to the file names. The browser will show the link at the bottom. I think this is the version we need. In this file name, we can see Ku124 and Torch 2.6.0, which means it's made for Pi Torch 2.6.0 and Cuda 12.4. And in the file name, we can see CP310, which means it's made for Python 3.10. So let's click on that file. Well, again, this is the flash attention file I need to install. So guys, in the future, things may change. You might need a different flash attention version to be installed. Let's click on the download button to download the file. Click save. Let's wait until the download finishes. Here we go, the download has finished. Let's see how to install it. So let's close the browser and move back to the Anaconda prompt. Then type pip install followed by the path to the flash attention file we downloaded. Alternatively, we can just drag and drop the flash attention package from File Explorer. Let's open the downloads folder, then drag and drop the file inside the Anaconda prompt and press enter. Here we go, the installation has finished. Now let's clear the window. Then let's run the WAN GP tool by typing Python wgppy hyphen hyphen i2v and then pressing enter. Here we go, let's open the link in the browser. Now to make WAN GP use flash attention, we have to change some settings. So go to the configuration tab, scroll down and look for attention type. Under it, click on the drop down menu, then choose flash. After that, scroll down and look for apply changes. Click on the button. Now it shows the new configuration has been successfully applied. So let's go back to the main tab. Here we can see that the attention mode is now flash. So from now on, we will be using flash attention. So guys, flash attention is great for both quality and speed. It is better than the default SDPA used by WAN GP. However, in terms of pure speed, Sage attention is generally better. In the future, if you don't want to use flash attention, you can go back to the configuration tab, choose the default option or any other option, and use the apply changes button to save the setting. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.